Well, you've been in Northampton Town Centre today looking at the floral displays. What are your thoughts? They're wonderful. Um, I think the residents of Northampton have got something to be proud of. Um, the town centre would be glorious. Uh, but we've also had a, a wonderful opportunity to meet lots of the volunteers and community groups who've been involved in creating them and looking after them, um, which is equally what we look for as uh, part of East Midlands in Bloom. A lovely day. You were here last year, what's your thoughts compared to last year? Obviously I can't uh, um, tell you the, uh, the marks at the moment, um, but certainly I think we've had a better presented tour, it's been a glorious day today, um, and I think we've seen some, some great improvements, more people involved, and I'm sure it's going to reflect well on Northampton. So what are your thoughts as a judge in the East Midlands in Bloom competition? on Northampton's flow displays. I've been very impressed today. This is my first time judging Northampton, but I do know Northampton from coming here socially and visiting friends and going to the shops. It's been very good today. It's been a lovely tour. Uh, the flowers have been excellent, as we can see in the park today. Lovely hanging baskets, lovely barrier troughs as well. Superb flowers. Really nice visit today. And the weather was perfect for it? Weather perfect, of course. Uh, because the weather's perfect, everybody's very happy. Uh, all the volunteers we've met today have been very excited about us coming today. And I think uh, they've enjoyed themselves as much as we have. Look, is it just about good-looking flowers, or is there more to no, it than that? No, the, there's um, three main criteria. Flowers are obviously a, a huge part of that for a competition called In Bloom. But um, the community involvement is, is a big part of it, as well as how the environment is looked after and maintained. Uh, we look at all aspects of that. Anything that will improve the, the borough of the district that we're looking at. And when can we expect the results? Uh, in the middle of September. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs>